Welcome folks to our look at This Merchant Life, a trading strategy game and that's got a bit of Oregon Trail thrown in and some turn-based combat. It's a charming little game, very absorbing, and is about to hit 1.0 on Steam, getting released on the 6th of September. It's been around since 2017, but this is the full go. Uh, the version I'm playing is pretty much the 1.0 version, bar a few bug fixes. And yes, you've got to buy low and sell high as well as fight some bandits, fight some wolves, and go on missions as you see fit. Upgrade your cart, and there's a whole roguelike feel to it. some of the missions. And yeah, just stuff like that, really. It's all rather lovely. And we've got a lot of the world at our disposal at the moment. Uh, we've got some dialogue going on at the moment, I should probably read that. I'm gaining a reputation in the towns, make some friends, allies, learn my way around, pay off that start alone. Black Butte, my horse is not saying anything. Anyway, let's get started. I'll buy some things cheap from the market here, then we'll travel to the neighbouring town. Not impressed. Also not impressed. Goal, reach level 3. So that should be our goal for the video. Uh, we'll have to um, level up our XP by trading and doing some other stuff. So we're currently this little chess piece horse lad in Woodford. If we go inside the city, we have lots to do. We've got a market to go out and go to to buy and sell. We've got some missions to pick up. Uh, three randomly generated every time you come to town. In fact, we should be um, we should be thinking about what to buy. Um, our cart has a capacity of not very much at the moment. We can upgrade it as we go later on by spending a lot of cash. Uh, that's me, very average indeed. And those are the lack, complete lack of missions that I've got at the moment. Uh, ha! Just a little bit of tutorial pop-ups there, but nothing problematic. Right. So what we should do first, I think, is see what we can sell at randos. Uh, so we, you can see here in the bottom, the little pop-up thing, what what is actually cheap there at the moment and what's expensive. Obviously we want something to sell that's above average price. And you can also right click on here to give a bit more of a, a guide to what's going on. So we can't do anything, we can't do any of these ones with little arrows at the bottom because that indicates a, a higher level good that we don't have access to at the moment. So that leaves us with those four things and those two things. Uh, we don't want to sell anything at below average price because we'll make a loss. So grain, iron, well, that's basically it. Grain, see if we can actually buy any grain or iron um, from Woodford uh, at below average price. No, but we can buy it at medium price. So we'll still make a profit, just not so much. So what was that again? Just to remind myself, that was grain. Unfortunately, grain has a very small profit margin, I seem to remember. Here we go. So we can buy 22 grains, but we've only actually got space for 15 on the on the cart at the moment. So let's just buy all of it. Uh, we've now um, um, buggered the economy because, yes, grain is now expensive here, but shush. But we have filled up our cart with cheap, cheap grain, and we can then piss off to randos, but not yet. Let's, um, ex let's explore Woodford first, because this will generate some random encounters and things. This will take six hours. Time is a precious commodity in this game. While minding your own business, you are approached by a fearsome looking woman in a ridiculous hat. She demands you answer a riddle. The more you take, the more you leave behind. What am I? A bear? Well, no. Footsteps? Yes. And a hole. Well, that could be it. Irritatingly. But I think it's I think it's footsteps. She looks delighted. Well, not exactly delighted. Pleased? Somewhat pleased. She looks into your eyes for a moment and you feel as if somehow you've learned something. 400 XP. Plus, my wits have gone up. So that was a good set of things to happen. Excellent. Now we can go to the tailors and change our outfit, but that costs money. I've already done this before we started. And when it didn't actually cost any money. So let's not worry about that just yet. So I did, in theory, want to hire security, but I don't think I can do that until the tavern opens, which is not until level 2. So I think I will actually have to get that up. Anyway, I can actually upgrade. I've got an upgrade skill because I'm on level 1. So let's have a look at what I can do. I don't think we'll be doing any fighting soon, so I'm not going to worry about the, that part of the skill tree. Um, I'll, get, I'll go for recruitment because then... Um, actually, no, let's, let's not do that. Possibly cart enthusiast, because that means upgrades to the cart will be cheaper. But I don't know, even so... Oh, here we go. Maybe purchasing. Let's unlock that. That'll spend our upgrade point. And everything, I'm sure, is going to be fine. So, let's go and trade something. I'm not going to be able to hire anyone just yet. Also, let's pick up some missions, just in case there's anything easy we can do. I can't do that at the moment because I don't have the goods. Collect, collect peasants at Arrow, then return here. Basically a fetch quest. 
an escort, a letter to Arrow. Well, that's quite straightforward because we'll be going to Arrow at some point. It's a town quite close by. So let's take that one mission. And if you look down... Oh, hang on. Arrow is a bit further away. It's, it's right down there at the bottom. Yeah. So we'll have to go quite a long way. And we'll, we'll have to... We have a time limit of 11 days. But we might be able to do this. I mean, we've got plenty of time. Lots of time. So the, ro the road security to Randos is excellent, so we're very unlikely to be ambushed. I think we can set off now. We've bought some goods, and we've got ourselves a mission. Let's go. Oh, hang on. That's, that's right click. I should left click and travel. So it'll take 43 hours, day-night cycle, flapping about the place. We're now under day three. So actually getting down to Arrow in, within 11 days might actually prove quite tricky. And once we're moving, uh, you'll notice there's a few things over here, like them. Um, uh, we've got 3 out of 10 rating for how much we are going to potentially get attacked, so it's quite low at the moment. That's the uh, cart condition, just don't let that get too low. And that's the weight penalty, because we've got some, we've got a few goods in the cart, so we're a bit slower at the moment. And those are all the things that we've got in the cart. So we're now in Randos! Randos is within the boundary of the Holback Forest, but is actually to be found inside an enormous artificial arbour. A large clearing where the trees encroach above as much as they can. So let's go to the market. We already know that uh, we should be able to sell this wheat at a high price. And the fact that that's red is good. That means it's above the average prices in the kingdom. So we will actually be selling that for more than we paid for it. I think we better do. Sell all. Alright, that wasn't exactly that profitable. If you look elsewhere, anything in green is cheap. And everything red is um, particularly expensive. And there's two screens of those. And you can unlock more of these as you unlock skills and things like that. But for now we can only trade common goods. Nasty, rotten, common goods. So next, we'll probably, if we are going to try and get to Arrow in time, we'll probably next go down to the capital city of Archon. Which has a lot of... A lot of um, goods on an above average price. Unfortunately none of them are ones we can actually trade at the moment. Um, so let's see what missions we can pick up. We've got slot, a, a slot for one more mission. A secret let, letter to Archon. Or we can go to Aten and then return here. Let's just remind ourselves of the map. Well, let's do the Archon one, because we don't want to divert to um, Aten. So, Archon. Secret letter to Archon. That's literally where we're going next, so that's good. These things on the right are about um, um, whether it's dangerous to do things or not. Then we take mission. And we have filled our two slots. One letter to Arrow, and one letter to Archon, so all good. That's preparing some good stuff to happen. Right, okay, so the only thing we, d we don't want to, we definitely don't want to sell to Archon is beer or grapes. So let's see what else we can, see, see what else we can buy on the cheap. Well, we can buy timber, hides, or herbs. All of those will give us a bit of a profit. So timber, hide, herb. Let's go to the market. Uh, timber, hide. Let's see what herbs. I'm just, I'm just, just looking at prices. Actually, um, herbs will probably end up turning much more of a profit. So I'm gonna, and there's 17 of those, and we've got space for 15. So let's just do all that, and take a bit of a risk. Not, we're not really diversifying here, but never mind. Now, am I on level two yet? No, I'm not. So I still can't hire any lads for security, which is very worrying indeed. But let's look at our cart, just see if, um, see if it might be worth doing, getting some defence, perhaps. It's actually very expensive. Well, let's do this. This will speed us up a little bit, and it's quite cheap. It might be a bit early to do that. Do we need to repair? Not really. So I think now we're just going to go all the way to Archon and hope for the best. It's going to be hope for the best. I don't think we're going to get attacked, but you never know. There's a bit, a bit more of a risk this time. Oh, a knight to remember. Uh, the Black Knight comes striding past, crossing from li left to right across the road. He's a rare sight, and you find yourself transfixed as he walks past. He is at once both ethereal and old king. A towering figure that seems to be only loosely tethered to the world. This is Lycor, I'm kicking off. As you continue your journey, you find yourself considering the Dark Knight further. Hmm. So, this is a... This is what we'll be thinking. We'll be thinking mystically, groundedly, or undecided. I'm going to go for mystical. He sounds like a right mystical weirdo. 
Uh, there's definitely something supernatural about this knight that seemingly operates as a force of nature, some strong personification of order. It seems telling that no one has ever seen his face or heard him speak. So now we've got plus mysticism. And now we're continuing our journey. Uneventful. Thank God for that. And look, um, we've completed a mission and got XP and coin. And all we have to do now is go over to Arrow where we'll complete another mission. And we'll, we should level up soon, so we will actually be able to hire some security, which I'm really keen on doing. Right, herbs cost a little bit more more here, so I think it was about 77 before, wasn't it? Or something like, along those lines. So we're, not, we're really not making much. And I've also brought the prices right down to 71 now. But we're now over 3,000 quid. Um, into the back, whatever. So that's all good! Uh, we have one mission that we're going to go to Arrow with. And let's see what else we've got here. Now there's an interesting one. Both of these missions are both to Aston or Aston, which uh, is, alas, right up there again. So I don't know if we should bother taking that yet because we, we're, we're currently diverting over to Arrow, which, yeah, we can't do any donating. So let's not take any missions here. Let's work out what we can sell at Arrow. At the moment they are paying over the odds for hides. Um, Archon hides are pretty much an average price, so we might be able to do that. It might be good. Or we could sell, we could buy some like fruits and some leaves or whatever, and sell those at a reasonable price. So maybe we can do a bit of a bit of everything. Let's have a look. So herbs, that's it, not leaves. So either of these. Well, let's buy some of them. And what was the other one? Was it hides? I think it was hides, wasn't it? Let's just double check. Yes. If I buy some hides, which are actually quite valuable, that might be a good thing as well. And that takes us up to 14 or 15. So that's okay. At the moment, their booze is... They really, really want booze. Don't we all? I wonder if um, Arrow are selling booze. Well, they might be. I mean, they'll still be selling booze at a normal price. So if we can get back to Archon quickly, uh, we might actually be able to turn a profit there on booze. But whatever. I think there's nothing more we can do now in Archon. Other than start trying to upgrade the uh, the cart again. Actually, let's actually repair the cart because we've been going for a while. And we don't have to pick up any missions. So I think we're good to go now. Prices are much higher than usual on, the, on that beer for only seven more hours. So we won't have time to take advantage of that. Right. Medium security on this road so we still might get attacked. But we're fine. Escort success. Letter to Arrow. Gold reward 502. We haven't quite leveled up yet, which is irritating. And we could go to the apothecary, but we don't actually have any wounds, so who cares? So before we do anything else, actually, let's sell what we've got. Um, hides. That almost takes us up to level 2, but not quite again. Damn it. Now we can actually do that exploration thing, which will take 6 hours. But named for the river upon whose banks it has grown, Arrow is a pleasant town despite being rather prone to flooding. Uh, several water wheels circle deliberately in the slow currents of the river Flight, as the town, which grew up on either side, perches as if to wait for nothing in particular, and in no particular rush. Um, some punctuation there would be nice. Uh, the town feels especially peaceful today, the gentle sound of the water flowing past giving everything a meditative quality. Uh, town is district we can go to, most of the leather in the kingdom is made here, or Running Man, you spot someone jo jo um, jogging past. Uh, we don't have access to that for whatever reason, presumably because we haven't met them in the game yet. So, let's go to the Tannis District. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh -oh. uh, the Tannis District rivals the great fish market of Mandrake for the worst smelling location in all of Peregrine. You make some useful contacts before beating a hasty retreat. 100 XP, that takes us into level 2. Yay! Nice. Which does mean we can pop over to the tavern have ourselves a booze. More importantly, we can now hire some lads to help us on the way. And so the blue figures are basically attack, uh, the, the yellow figures are basically defence, and the red is health. Um, they don't need to worry about that yet until we get into combat. But else, we've got Malin who fights best alone, but we don't really want that, we want to hire two lads, I think. And we've also got security ver bonus versus bandits for both these two lads. Old soldier. So these are quite good at defence. Um, I'm going to hire both of them. Uh, to keep them happy, you do have to keep on paying them. Extra bonuses and stuff like that. I haven't actually worked out auto pay yet. I mean, I'm sure there must be a... I'm sure, I, th 
I'd rather keep it manual for now, so I'm going to leave that. But that seems reasonable. And the mo it seems like in the early game, the most you'll ever fight is two people. So I think one for each of the... Well, we'll see. I don't want to go about the fighting too much yet. And we also have some, some skills to actually spend. Well, one anyway. So let's go for the cart enthusiast, because it's best to do this early on. Because we're going to get a 20% reduction on all cart upgrades. So let's do that. And we're currently in Arrow. No, we don't... Oh, we, we have we have herbs. When did I buy them? Did I buy them just now? Or... <laughs> God, I can't remember. Let's just have a look at the, the market. This, I did, oh, I know I just didn't sell these, did I? I was supposed to sell them, but I didn't. Oh, we've got up to quite a bit of cash now. Right, so missions. We also probably should get some missions, because at the moment we've got none. So we've got Escort Peasants to Woodford. Woodford is right at the top left where we started. Or oh, collect peasants at Archon, then return here. Archon is... Oh, it's literally just there, so we'd have to be back and forth. It's not ideal. Hmm. I think we've got 12 days to get back to Woodford for f almost 500 quid. I don't think we should do the... Oh, maybe we should, though, because that's actually 16... 16 days is a long... Yeah, let's... Okay, let's do that. It'll give us some th something to aim for. And I think we'll leave the other slot free for now. Uh, so we've got quite a bit of cash. I think... Oh, we can't... This, this place doesn't actually have a cart upgrade place. I think we have to go back to the other place for that. So, okay, let's work out the whole buy low, sell high thing. Uh, currently, the um, Archon is paying above average prices for wool as well as wood. Ah, and also, we're, um, Arrow is selling... is basically uh, Wool is cheap in Arrow and expensive in the capital. So that gives us a prime opportunity. Oh, they're selling... They've got 38 wools. And we've only got space for 15. Unfortunately, I can't get a cart upgrade that'll increase our thing, our capacity. So it looks like we'll just have to do buy all. So we'll make a good profit on this, but I'd, I'd like to make more. But I think tough titty is the, the exact phrase here. Uh, this tab over here, by the way, the building tab, um, doesn't unlock until you reach level 3. So we could, don't need to worry about that just yet. And I think that's pretty much all we need to do here. Uh, we've, pay, we've paid them enough, so that's all good. Let's go back to Archon. 36 hours. Yeah, here we go. Um, the capital of Pergwin, Archon has stood for a thousand years. Uh, like most capitals, the residents do have a certain sense of superiority and prices tend towards the expensive. Right, so collecting on that mission that we did. And that's good, frankly. <laughs> and we still have that. Or did I just miss that last time? I think I might. Uh, anyway, whatever. Right, so let's see what missions we've got here. We'll fight some... Fight some lads. Where was it? On the road to Rando. So if we go back to Rando's, we'll have a fight. So that might be a good, good way to start our fighting career. Unfortunately, it's going to be a little tricky. It's like two level two of nastiness. It won't be easy. Find best location at Aton, Arrow, or Lancer. I might take that. That's a quite straightforward. Oh, actually, no. Let's. We, we've only got a slot for one. So let's just do the combat. It's a bit of a risk, this. But hey ho. Right, in fact, what we'll do in that case is actually try to upgrade our um, defence by buying a reinforced structure. That increases that stat quite nicely. We've now got a caravan um, defence of three. So, yeah. Right, anything else we can do? Uh, I think we'll keep our cash. Keep our cash just for now. We are going to have a bit of a fight any second now. Um, so, I don't know if I want to necessarily load up my... Hang on, let's just sell our, sell our wool. Was that the right thing to do? I can't remember if I just bought that now or was it before. You've really got to keep on top of things in this. You've got to sell, you really should sell things as soon as you arrive, just to so you don't forget and get confused like an old man. <laughs> Shout out to me. Yeah, right, so, I, as I say, I don't really want to fill up my wagon completely, just in case we do lose the fight and lose some of our goods. But let's have a look. I mean, booze is cheap. But it's also cheap in rando, so there's no point. Also the same with leather. Grapes, same. Uh, there's nothing really useful there we can do. Leaves. Well, let's buy some leaves. Herbs. They've, they've only got one to sell. Bloody hell. 
It's a bit knacky. Knack knock who knew? Frankly. Is there, is there nothing else? Well, we, we could again sell. We could buy some wool. Let's buy some wool. At, at an average price. Well, didn't we just sell all this to them? Yeah. There's only six of them anyway. So yeah, we're not doing the full fella here. But as I say, I don't want to get attacked and lose it anyway. Security-wise, you know what? Because I'm I'm a bit scared of this fight, I'm actually going to hire another lad. We've got someone with good health. Good health! Which is a bit more expensive. But otherwise... Oh, hang on, what are you? Security bonus versus animals. Hmm. That might be useful. I could actually hire two people. There. <laughs> I'm... I'm really bricking it, so let's be careful. Uh, we don't. I think I'll pay the old soldier a bit more cash because his morale's low. I mean, morale is basically time rather than morale. They'll disappear. As, as their morale goes down, they'll eventually disappear. And that just happens over time. So let's go to Randos and have a fight. 70 hours, blimey. Oh, bloody... Oh, hang on, this is different. Accident, the hole in the road was so deep it may go down to the underworld. And the, right, the front right wheels went directly into it. Oh, bloody hell. Patch them up the best you can. The wounds attended to, with the cursing eventually subsides. Fighters hurt. Oh, bloody hell. And we're just in time for our first battle. Thanks. Thanks, road. Right, okay. So, let's go to that. So, this looks confusing at first. But what's going to happen here is that, effectively, our cart is in the middle. Um, and these are the, the four directions that the enemies could theoretically attack from. However, in this case, they're only going to attack from the right. But there's going to be several of them, all coming in from the right. So essentially, all we need to do is defend this segment. If you lose any, if you like, um, if you lose all your fighters in one segment that's been attacked, you'll get a general defeat. So you need to make sure that you cover all um, segments that are being attacked. Thankfully, as I say, we've only got one to worry about now. So I'll select that um, uh, segment, and we. I'll assign them all because it's going to take basically one deployment time to assign all these lads, and there'll be a total of four. And we've got six time to spare, so we can actually do all of them. Do 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 do, and it'll automatically place them, uh, meaning that this segment has now four attack and six defense. Now we move on to the movement phase. And it, now we, it reveals exactly what's going on, and it is two wolves. Uh, so we could move. We can now move to different segments if you wanted to, but there's no point. So let's leave things as they are. They've got attack of one each, so it would be a total of two. And I think the way it does it, I mean, you can you can read all this and everything. It's a it's like the, you add up the amount of attack or defense, and then add a small dice roll on top of it. I think it's like one to three, just to add a bit of randomness. So they'll be attacking, well, we'll be attacking firstly, we'll be attacking those, and we'll be one, two, five. So it'll be five plus up to three, against their two, I think. So we should be able to wipe them both out, I think. Next turn. Let's see, let's watch. It goes very fast this, I'm afraid. Yeah, very easy. I don't think there's anything to loot. Anyway, achievement unlocked. I wanted a mission, apparently. Anyway, we've now um, spent quite a long time, 70 hours. And we're back in Randos! Immediately sell what we've got. Sell all, sell all. Yeah, we've got a reasonable amount of cash. Oh, we've got some... Oh shit, I'm... did I not sell these somewhere? I don't want to sell them now because they are cheap here and I will lose money on that. Oh, hang on, no, these, are... these might be from the wolves that are killed. Ah, good. That's fine. Yeah, as I said, I don't want to sell them here. But, yeah, let's say we're back here. Um, I need to take those peasants back to Arrow, but sod it. That'll, that'll happen at some point. We've got 12 days. I'm not concerned about that. It does actually show you a little, like, a mission thing to the top left of towns, if there's any missions going on. Anyway, so let's make sure that we are... Oh god, look at the, the morale's on the floor. Let's pay, pay and pay. Pay through the bloody nose. I think four is possible. Ha having four people here is possibly overkill for the time being. I was a bit more scared of the wolves than I needed to be, I think. Um, let's see, what else can we do now? Uh, let's upgrade the cart, maybe. Uh, I don't know if we can do anything about this just yet, so I'm not going to worry about that. So we'll stick to upgrades. Uh, let's go for improved spokes. Uh, let's repair the wagon. And we're still quite low on the old level 2. I'd really like to um, increase capacity. 
if we can. Let's have a look. Oh, here we go. Metal suspension. That really, really increases capacity. So let's do that. So it'll be hopefully more than 17 now. Mark it. Now, hang on. Let's look at the caravan. Does it tell you here? Um, not sure. It does. I'm not sure where it tells you your capacity. Um, when you're on this screen. Oh no, there we go. Fine. 23. So we've increased it from 17 to 23, uh, which is very nice indeed. You'll be able to make a profit and try to get up to level three. Although that is actually a quite long, a long way away. Um, so it looks like at the moment Atten is um, expensive for iron. Just double check how long that's going to take. 20 mo 29 more hours. That is 28 hours away. So we may get away with that. Unfortunately, Randos is also selling iron at a higher price, so we won't make much of a profit on that. So let's not worry about that. Let's go back to Randos. Let's see what else they're paying over the odds for. It looks like grapes would be a good thing to do here. I say grapes, just fruits in general. Um, we'll keep our hide. Buy loads and loads of grapes. Well, not that many actually at all. But, and we've still got quite a bit of capacity left over, which is nice. All those hides. Unfortunately, nowhere around here will sell hides, or buy hides for a good price. What else? Wool? No, no, that's the same price at both places. Wood's the same price as iron, pretty, pretty much the same. I might try the iron anyway. Just because there's high price and there's very high price. Unfortunately, they're not selling any. Huh, I think they might be out of iron. So, we're not really going to make much of a profit there then, are we? Hmm. So the only thing I can really do, I guess, I could sell, I could try buying some beer. Because th that's below, below cost here and average at the other place. So we'll... F God, there's not much. I really want to sell. I want to make a big, fat, juicy profit and then laugh for hours. Okay, I can buy some herbs. That. With any luck. They've got eight. They haven't got... Oh. Shit. I'm not going to make much of a profit at this rate. Really... Oh, no, it's not. It's because we haven't got money. We've actually run out of cash. Like an idiot, I haven't even noticed that. Right, let's go. To Atten. Just double check. Oh, we're not doing that, are we? Okay, let's go. It's now 30 hours. Oh, because we've loaded up our wagon, it's now taking longer to get there. Should be a pain in the ass. Right, let's sell the, the fruits. Make us a bit of cash. And now it's unlocked all the things that we couldn't do. Um, Yeah, there's no point in selling hides. I mean, they cost more here, but they're still pretty cheap. Although, having said that, we didn't buy it. We didn't pay anything for them in the first place. So, in fact, I'm going to sell them. Sod it. And that one beer. Enjoy your one beer, lads. Right, what else can we do at Atten then? I think maybe we'll like we we will need some missions. At the moment, we've got we've still got the take peasants back to Arrow mission. Uh, combat, we don't really want to go back to Rando. So I'm gonna go via Serenity, I think. Although we can, I mean, it doesn't really matter either way, to be honest. And we could go to Ser oh, we, I don't really want to piddle around, going backwards and forwards. All right, let's just go. I mean, the co oh the shit, the combat's really difficult. Let's try it. Let's see if we can actually beat this. Because it'll earn us a thousand quid. Which is very exciting. It won't, it won't earn us any reputation, but... The, the Arrow Peasants one will. Reputation is good in a city, because then it'll... Open up more opportunities and things. Right. So we need to go back to Randos, and then we need to go on to Archon. So we're not really going to... Oh, no, hang on a second. No, it's... Yeah, 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 that's right. Yep, yep, yep. I will actually need to see if I can... Uh, do some trading as well. The iron and the wood is the same. In fact, iron, wood, and wool, all the same. And also bloody uh, hides. This is not looking good, boys. This is not looking good. There's nothing. There's no profits we can make here. I don't think. Below average price, above average price. No, because we most of those things we can't buy or sell. So I just I suppose I just go back then. One thing I should just quickly do is check. Everything's fine there. Anything I need to do here? We've got a bit of cash we can spend. That'll increase our defence, so let's do that. 
And now let's go and have this major fight. Wish us luck. Oh hell. Okay, so we've got multiple enemies coming into this segment, and one coming into this segment. So this is going to be a, our first multi-segment one. Okay, well we've got... Um, old soldier can go into there. Because you've got two defence. And the other old soldier can go into this segment. Now this segment we have to spend a bit more time on. Unfortunately these are not animals, so there's no bonus from that. Are these, are these bandits? I think these might be... If these are bandits, then we will actually have a bonus against them for, in both these segments, which is nice. Other than that, let's put you in here. And I guess... I don't know if I should put... I don't know which one I should do here. Uh, I'll do it here. Sod it. Two in each. So if, if any one sector... Um, is defeated. That's defeat for the entire thing, and our cart will be raided. Right, oh shit, that bruiser is really, really strong. He's got three attack. So I'm tempted, now, now I've discovered this, to move this guy. Oh well, you have to actually press... there we go. <laughs> you can't do it with the arrow keys. So this is a bit of a risk, but that bruiser is looking very bruising indeed. On the other hand, though, their, their, their defence is not very high. So we've got 4v2 and 2v1. Let's hope for the best, lads. Roll! Oh. <laughs> yeah. We won. Not bad. Mission complete as well. Uh, which gain um, just net us a load of cash, which is handy. Uh, we haven't got anything to sell. Unless... Oh no, we, did we loot beer? I think we just looted loads of beer. From those lads. Oh good. Let's sell it. Nice. I'm feeling emboldened now. There's that search mission. Find a roving cow in Oxtown, Archon or Woodford. It basically means going to up to three places. Um, it's a bit of a random, you know. They'll be in one of those locations, I think. Another... Um, a fetch quest and another combat thing. That'll take us to Woodford, which we don't want to do. I think we'll do that one. Do a bit of searching action, because that's actually quite... Gets, gets us some good reputation. We've got plenty of time to do it, and it'll earn us a decent amount of cash as well. Anything we can do with the cart? We've got loads of cash. Ooh! Oh, that's really, really expensive. We can't afford that. That'll increase our capacity a, a gain. But we haven't actually bought any goods yet, so... There's no point in buying capacity if we can't then fill it. So we're now going... Oh, we could go to Woodford. That's where to... Hmm. That's... There's a possibility that this um, this roving cow is in Woodford. And it won't take very long to get there. But we've only got nine days to get down to Arrow. Um, it's more likely that the roving cow is in one of these two places. Or, sorry, Archon or Oxtown. So it's a bit of a risk... But since we've got 17 days, I think it's fine. So let's go to Archon, which is currently paying above average, above average prices for wood and wool. But then again, so is Randos. So it's a bit pointless. What we could do is... There's one thing. We can sell herbs. We can buy herbs here and sell them at a slightly higher price. Let's hope there's plenty of them. Ten. Hmm, better than nothing. Other than that, there's probably not much we can really... Do. Don't think there is, is there? No. So let's just take what we've got and let's hope for the best. Oh, it's a heat wave. Not quite sure how that influences things. I'm sure I'll be back to Rando soon. A bad omen. Those who believe in omens will tell you that they often they are inscrutable, their meaning difficult to a divine. You have always suspected that it is simply a way to keep the diviners in a job. The convenience of only chosen few could, who can understand or translate a thing that never has never sat well with you. Still, blah blah blah, really. So, plus two arrows. Um, bury or leave? Oh, when a, oh, I completely missed this bit. When a falcon, the national symbol of Peregrine, drops out of the sky and lands in front of the caravan, it'll be hard for either, even the most immune to superstition to explain away. Let's bury it. For two. Okay, so it takes two hours to bury it, and nothing to leave. Let's let's bury it. We've got time. It does give us a morale boost. 
and some mysticism. The rest of the caravan, usually in as much of a rush as you, seem to appreciate the gesture. So that means we don't have to spend as much um, on the soldiers' morale, which is nice. But we actually do need to increase this, so let's just do this before we do anything else. Before we forget. Which has cost us quite a lot of cash. Which is a shame, but never mind. So, and we need to actually take care of this mission. By the looks of it, we found it! And we found the roving cow, apparently. So we need to go need to go back to Randos at some point. We can also do some exploration, which can do many things, including unlock some of these. As you are finding your bearings in the Oh my god. The Coruscant Town Square, you are suddenly confronted by three women, even more dazzling than their surroundings. We are three grand goddesses, and we wish to tell you which of us you find to be fairest. Oh, this is a no-win situation. To indicate your choice, we wish you to hand this magic orange to your selection. She shrugs at this and abruptly hands you an apparently standard orange. You then notice the orange has a smiling face drawn on it. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Um, so there's three, these three girls. You have a horrible feeling that whichever one you choose, you will make enemies of the other two. Right, so we've got Goddess of Beauty, Queen of the Gods, Goddess of Wisdom. So I don't know what the outcomes are going to be here. Beauty, go um, Gods, or Wisdom. Let's go for Wisdom. So that'll be Ragna. Uh, Ragna smiles wisely while the other two scowl at you. She accepts the orange gleefully. Winner is me! She shouts. Did you enjoy her performance? She explains that the three are engaged in some daring street theatre. Oh, rolls eyes. Uh, recreating an obscure myth for people in the square. You compliment them on how real it seemed to you, and they beam at you happily. I've got intel. Ancient desert ruins. Artemis. And some other stuff and all. So what's this? What's that? I've never had intel before. Oh, there's anarchy down there. We don't want to go down there. <laughs> frankly. So I don't know exactly what that's um, given us, but it's best to not worry about it. <laughs> I don't think it's actually going to affect us any anytime soon anyway. Right, so let's go back in. We need to go back to Rando, so we also need to go to Arrow. So, well, we can't do any of these, can we? Um, so let's see what we can actually sell at Arrow. Wood and hide. Oh, we can buy loads of hide. Good. Let's buy hides. I've only got four. It's annoying. What about wood? No, wood's expensive everywhere. But we can sell them... I think beer, fruit... Yeah, beer and fruit also good. Bets. Oh, listen, there's loads of beer. Let's just buy all the beer. And also, maybe the fruits as well? I've only got two quid left, so yeah, we don't have the option to get the fruits. Okay, so beer it is. We're gonna flog them beer. We've sorted out the security. Let's just double check. Oh, there's an apothecary there. We don't need. Right, let's complete our little missiony poos. No random encounters. Collect success, collect a business from Archon, gold reward, 680, whatever it was. And so we've just got that roving cow mission left now. Sell everything. And sell. Takes us up to quite a large amount of money. We've also almost got to the end of our XP mission. Uh, level 3. That'll, be, that'll open up the next chapter. So I reckon if we just go back to Randos, and that should sort us out. Ooh. Well, I've just, um... I'm just whilst completing another riddle. Um, this is back in the capital city. Uh, I, I've just actually levelled up. We didn't actually have to go all the way back to that place after all. Um, I wasn't expecting that to happen. I was just trying to clear out some, trying to clear a path all the way back there. But um, yeah, I did a, that riddle about the two guards in front of a thing uh, without really thinking about it. Uh, and I've actually hit the level three thing. So we actually do have access to chapter two now. Uh, well, they say that you, know, you learn more from mistakes. I think that's a healthy way of looking back on the flaming wreckage of disaster that is my merchant life. When I sleep, I can feel the interest on, my, on, the, on the debt in my dreams. It's characterised as a dark mass growing overhead, eager to devour the world. Black Butte, not impressed. So what I've divined from my new, now heightened understanding of trade is that I should probably try to make a bit of money so that I can pay this debt off before it consumes me utterly. Turns out that coins are really important when you're a merchant. Goal, gather 6,000 quid in Chapter 2. Nice. Anyway, 
I've complete, completed that riddle, and I'm back in Archon. Okay, so we'll stop there. And this, you see, it's just that, that almost like casually ob, um, absorbing games that just, you'd like to see what's going to happen and see what random events actually occur. And well, I will point out, now I can, I've finally opened up buildings, which I can, I can buy buildings in each town, which will give us bonuses. However, they are very expensive, so there's no point in doing it yet because I haven't got enough money. But that's now open. And we've also, given that we've got the chance of now of um, getting new skill, and we've opened this new tab up, um, our standing in the kingdom. So we're going to have a look around there and see what's going on. Though I'd say the, the kingdom is bigger than just this starting area. But I think we can... No, we haven't quite got the permit to actually get into these places yet. But the game will slowly but surely unlock for you. And all will be good. Okay, so thanks for watching. Do um, subscribe to the channel to be notified when new stuff goes live about all the latest and best new indie games around. And click the link to the Patreon on the screen or in the description if you want to support the channel, if you, support, if you believe in our mission and all that. Uh, bye for now.